Welcome back to Warriors Live More. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. This is a little video, just a short one, a quick run over um, the rig we used on this big lap. We're sort of at the end of our lap now, we're in Yamba, and we've only got like a four hour drive back to the Sunshine Coast now, where we, where we left from. Um, a few people have asked for this, um, you know, just a bit of info, on, like upgrades and stuff what we used. So I just thought it'd be nice to help out a few people when I, um, first started I didn't have a clue about anything so it was nice to go around and trying to find a few tips so I can help out in any way um, that's great I'll just have a quick quick run over for you it's nice now I can actually give a bit of a rundown on on this rig because we're at more or less at the end of our lap as I said uh, I can feel f confident in reporting on you know how well it's done which is brilliant yeah rather than say at the start before we've done the actual lap you know this is tried and tested now it's worked really well for us um, hasn't let us down um, and it's been brilliant well here we are this is the big boy um, ram 1500 express ds ram box uh, we chose this one because of mainly the comfort and um, it tows the caravan with ease it's got the power under there although the payload isn't much more than other utes it's just got the power the comfort for the big lap and it's been really comfortable throughout even off road and all the rest of it so um, that's the reason main reason we chose it um, it's been absolutely brilliant so yeah it's a 5.7 liter under here it's not the cleanest it's been but uh, yeah this is the big boy this is a uh, this is what does all the work this is the workhorse and it's been brilliant as far as modifications go um, we haven't done much to this at all um, I'll get into that in a minute but um, we didn't need it because we wouldn't carry in loads of weight. I'll show you the sort of weight we carry in a minute. Um, we didn't have tinnies or anything like that. Um, let's have a little look inside. This is the interior, nice and comfortable. Um, it's been great, especially on the off-road stuff and the highway is just lovely as well. Um, very straightforward. Um, you get your big screen, eight inch screen, I think it is, for low and high. Um, very straightforward. Um, got a tow haul button. That's sort of for the hilly areas when you're really on hills and stuff like that you normally put that on just to help i think it helps with the gear change i think that's what it says in the manual as well to use it for mainly in hilly areas um got a little radio there that's on we use uniden very straightforward kind of model really there's not much um well i like to keep it like that so there's not much to go wrong really which is great um it's worked for us as far as um liters per hundred um, which is a big talked about thing on these things um, coming across the Nullarbor and the big stretches and up through the middle to Ayers Rock and places like that I was getting about 22 per hundred towing on average on the whole trip it's about 21 it's just a great car it's comfortable and it you don't even know that caravan's there now with regards to modifications the only modifications we've done on this Ram is off-road they were sort of better tires for where we were going cape york and the gear we wanted to do from the start so we got these uh road venture um kumo they've been absolutely brilliant when we were in ningaloo about halfway through our trip the back tires were really wearing down from the caravan the weight of the caravan um wearing more than the front so i just swapped um i swapped them out i put the front on the back and the back on the front and now coming to the end of the trip they're more or less even again the only other thing about tires yeah and the next one was just two airbags just in there yeah and you just blow them up on the back here that stops the back end bouncing around the tow hitch i use is a adjustable one here Heyman reese um, for the dl35 yeah well that's it but for about mods um a couple tight four four better off-road tires which is the kumos and the two airbags in the back and it's been it's been brilliant also on this one this has got the ram boxes on the side so uh little toolboxes really keep stuff in there and um on the back back comes down and i keep the actual for me i keep the kids bikes in there um the max tracks 
some body boards. We haven't got much weight. This is why we didn't need to do any upgrades. So if you want to keep it straightforward, basic, lightweight, like we've done, then you won't need to do this. Just a couple of airbags probably in the back the same. And then if you're going to do a lot of off-road stuff, um, the tyres. Um, and that's worked brilliant for the lap for us. And in the back here, we've got a little mascot, travelling mascot, Pan Pan. <laughs> He's travelled all this lap with us. Jake's best friend. So he can come out for a bit, I reckon, with this beautiful view. Don't ask. That's five kilograms of weight. So your seat lifts up. Got a bit of storage under there. Okay, so that's about it for the Ram, I think. Just a quick run over. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much. Like I say, it's just standard how it came, how it was bought. The two airbags, the four tyres for us. Um, getting about 21 per 100, which I don't think is too bad. 21 litres per 100 kilometres for a big thing like this. Okay, so now we'll get onto the caravan. Um, this is a Marvel Golden Child, 20 foot 6. Although it's a lot longer because we've had to have the draw bar extended for the turning circle of the ram. So it actually works out a lot more. But yeah, we haven't got much on the front. Um, we just got a little toolbox. Chuck all your little tools and that in there. Um, spare jerry can. Gas bottle for the barbecue and then obviously your two spare ones you normally get. Um, very straightforward. Um, got a window there on the front that all opens up. So when we're off grid like today, we can open that later on if it's hot and the wind blows through lovely. So I, I always think it's worth having a window at the front um, if you're doing a lot of off grid stuff. Um, this day has worked well for us. So the DL35 we got on it, which is the fully articulating one. We haven't needed like the sway bars and none of that. It just sits there beautifully behind it. All our weights on the floor, heavy weights on which you meant to put it. It's just sat there and towed behind it lovely. You don't even know it's there half the time. So um, we've got the tunnel booth at the front. The little water tap there, you can have, put your shower and stuff on if you want to, things like that. Um, I'll just give you a walk around. Um, your four corner legs to stabilize. Um, there's your water tanks, fills the water at the bottom. Hot water system in there. That's your fridge vent. Power to connect up at the caravan park, they give you 240. Um, Toilet, won't go too much into that. <laughs> um, little back storage compartment. Yeah, spare tire at the back. Your good old little rubbish bag over the back. Okay, with regards to the inside of the caravan, we'll have a quick run down here, it's short and sweet. Um, we've got the bed with storage underneath, plenty of storage over the top, a little corner seat with a table that drops down so you can kind of turn it into a bed if you wish east to west beds for the boys shower and toilet on opposite sides at the back a little partition door to lock the boys away comes in handy <laughs> a cooker sink a bluetooth entertainment system and hot water switches and we've also got our projector system which you can control, turn your power off to the caravan, see the water levels on your tanks and things like that. The only upgrade we really had on this caravan was the Dometic dust reduction system, which helps keep the dust out when you're going on those red dusty roads. You've also got your standard things like your fridge, your TV for Netflix and your aerial for hours of Australian adverts, water pump and your reverse aircon. And the Freshka fans came in really handy when you're off grid, especially with the windows open, let the air through. So here we are under the caravan. We've got two water tanks, uh, 90 litres I think they are, two 90 litre water tanks, and one grey water tank at the back there, um, which is great for places like this, you've got to be self-contained, so you've got your toilet, you've got your grey water all contained, which you can empty when you see a dump point or a caravan park or something like that. And it's worked absolutely brilliant for us. Oh, and this one I forgot to mention. This is so you smell nice. Little washing machine, yeah. A couple of little things we found useful along the way. Before we got the caravan, when we were camping, we had a old lithium 2000 watt inverter. So we could use this for to power our 
240 devices when we're off grid things like the washing machine um, the microwave and it will run the aircon for a short period of time whilst off grid a trailer mate jack is a great tool instead of a jockey wheel makes easy work of jacking your caravan up and down and you can use it to change a tire on the side without talking about toilets too much we had no porta potty from our camping days and this is a great thing to use if you need more toilet space when up whilst off grid um, the gib river road for example has no dump points so you can decant your toilet waste into from your cassette in the caravan into your porta potty um, so you've got more space just a good option if you've already got one another great tool is the impact gun with the socket on the end so you can help with your stabilizers on your caravan save using the manual bar yeah so on the roof up there we've got a couple of solar panels um, and obviously the aircon and the vents and all the rest of it there's not too much up there um, but it's been absolutely brilliant for us um, this setup I absolutely love that kind of thing and keeping the diary um, being able to watch back um, capture this moment and the last 12 months is, is absolutely priceless to us definitely if you're into that kind of thing I mean I've loved keeping the um, editing and doing all those things as me hobby in the evenings it's great fun um, so I'm gonna miss that a little bit when we finish this lap up but um, yeah definitely do it if that's what you're into again everybody's different but yeah always worth keeping that little diary oh you think you've caught yourself mate on that fishing line uh, that doesn't look too good does it no <laughs> okay so that's the end of another one the run down on the big rig we've used for this lap it's 100% work for us, um, for our needs. So hopefully it's given you a bit of help and insight into a few things. A couple of little tips there that we've used. They might be obvious ones, but um, hopefully you've got something out of it. Any um, episodes you do want to watch or areas or states or territories, I've actually put the playlist up there on YouTube that you can um, go into and find a specific place if you're interested in there for your holiday or if you're there on your lap yourselves at the time. All the best. See you in the next one. Yeah. See you later.